surgery gave me freedom. Hi, I'm Air here. Today we're going to talk about top surgery and how you can afford it. As we all know, top surgery can really cost a lot of money. I think it begins at a thousand euros and it can go up until 30,000 euros. That is a lot of money that many people don't have just sitting in their pockets. <laughs> so I thought I'd give you some tips to get that sum of money to get that life-saving surgery, you know? You've probably seen a lot of trans people who made crowdfunding campaigns and they tried to save money that way. Crowdfunding is a good way to rely on your community and not have to do it all on your own, you know? The only thing you have to focus on is launching that crowdfunding campaign, putting everything on the website, explaining why you need it and, you know, all of that jazz. But then it just starts. I would say though, crowdfunding campaigns, they're a good way to, to get a little bit of money, but it's also good to look into other things. Definitely because specifically in the trans community there's so many people who use a crowdfunding campaign to assemble money for their surgery, their HRT, that I think sometimes it's like oversaturated. There's just so many people who do this that maybe it will be hard for you to get that amount of money just through crowdfunding. I would say try that route and see how far it goes because any amount of money that you will get will be something you can use. Even if you do not get to the full amount that you needed if you get like half of it, it's still half of it that you didn't have to do much for. What you can also do is try to launch an event in which you try to sample money. Sometimes it works better because, you know, people are there in person and there is something they can get in return often, like maybe you are making some spaghetti and they can choose how much money they give for that. Or maybe you made some creative things because you're a creative person and you're selling them. If you sell things, that can for some people be a nicer way to give money to you because they're getting something in return so think what you can do what you're good at maybe someone can help you to launch an event think out of the box of course a very straightforward way to earn money and also save money is by finding a job and trying to put every penny that you earned on the side for this life-saving surgery. Of course that's easier said than done, it depends if you're a student or if you're already older. Many people do have a job and it's still a lot of money to assemble through saving money. There are certain LGBT organizations that do help with paying for these kind of surgeries. There, there are certain criteria that you have to fulfill of course but some LGBT organizations can help with that. Also there are some organizations where you can work as an employee that are known to have a really good trans care system. For example Starbucks is very known as a good organization. They have a lot of perks, they have a lot of advantages for trans people who need surgery, who need to start HRT appointments. If you're looking into a job and you know that you will need a surgery in the near future, maybe it's a good idea to start working at Starbucks even if it's not for the long run and you just make sure that you get that <laughs> surgery done there and then you can decide if you stay or not. I would say definitely look into health insurance. I am from Belgium myself. The health insurance system here is very good. In many cases it means that if you have health insurance you will get a lot of money back from anything that is medical related. For me the surgery costed not that much money on its own to be honest but I did get something back, a few hundred of euros I did get back. Sometimes for certain medicine you can get money back. If you have top surgery you will probably need some medicine after that because there's a lot of pain you will have from that. You will need some painkillers probably. Besides health insurance it's important to have a hospital insurance. It's very important to have the two if you're staying overnight at a hospital and you don't even know with top surgery how long you will stay in that hospital. For me it was only one night but if there's complications then it can be needed to stay multiple nights and those bills can get higher and higher. Having a hospital insurance is very very handy and I would say needed to try to push down that total amount of money you have to pay. What I would say is really important is look into the surgeons that you uh, know exist in your country 
uh, maybe even look into searches in other countries if there's a country where you know very well like there's this certain top surgeon and they are so good and actually the amount of money I have to pay there is way less than in my country even if you have to pay the transport it can really mean you have to pay less in total their prices can really differ and that's why it's really important to get informed what are your options which top surgeons are there what are their prices are their results great because they will probably have some pictures on a website or there will be some people online that you can contact to ask like what does it look like and if you know that their results are from this certain surgeon then you know okay it's going to do great on me this is not to be underestimated because you want to have a nice chest it's for the rest of your life you don't want to be unhappy about this part of your body you know for the rest of your life and also what are their waiting times because I know that that is something really important to many of us that we do not have to wait years and years and years I know it's not that easy to assemble loads of money at a short amount of time because we also want it very quickly I understand but I do think these are some things you can look into you can do a combination of multiple ways to assemble money you can have a crowdfunding campaign online meanwhile you can also do something like an event then you can also if you have a job you can also try to put some money aside and hopefully if you combine everything then you'll get there. Fingers crossed, I really hope that you can get that amount of money. I know you deserve it and I believe that you will get it in some kind of way. I do wish you the best and I'll see you next time in another video. <laughs> bye bye!